Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. It's me, it's Paul Carpenter. This is number 45 and 365. And this one's called, What Are You Chasing? I start in five. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. It is me, it's Paul Carpenter, and I am here with you, number 45 and 365. And this one's called, What Are You Chasing? I got a phone call last night, like three in the morning, and the phone call lasted about three hours. And the whole time, the question that I kept asking was, what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want? I'm asking you, not my friend. I'm asking you, what is it that you really want out of this life? What is it that you're chasing after? What is it you're trying to accomplish? Is it just going after materialistic gains? Is it just trying to beat somebody, make yourself look better? What I found in this life is that the only thing that makes anybody happy is not the things, but the emotions and feelings that you've created in others. The good ones, of course. But... Those are the only things that's important. It's funny because my friend was saying to me, you know, my uncle said to me once that the most important things um, out there are relationships. And my friend said, well, I must be poor. That hurts. Because nobody should feel like they're poor in this world, especially when it comes to relationships. Because it's your choice. It's your choice to have them. It's your choice to be in them. It's your choice on how you respond and act. So whenever something is missing in your life or someone is missing or some piece of the puzzle doesn't feel like it's there, ask yourself, what is it that you're really chasing? What is it that you're really trying to accomplish? Because like I said, in the end, what it really is, is how do I, how do I do better for others? How do I do this so I can be in service? Because that's really the kicker. It's about being in service to other people. It's about sharing your thoughts and your ideas and your creations with others. Because if you just sit there and paint all day long and keep it to yourself, who got to see the paintings but you? There's a story that reminds me of a woman, and I think it was like the 1940s or 50s, and she was a, a, a nanny. And for years, she carried around a camera, around a camera, and she, she took pictures. She dies uh, very young. I think she was 40 years old, 40 or 50 years old. And the story, it's a crazy documentary, but the story is about a kid who ends up going to a lot, a, like a, an estate sale, and ends up buying a bunch of this woman's photography because she was taking pictures constantly, but she never, um, she never printed her photos, and she just kept them in the little rolls, the, you know, the old school photograph rolls and so this kid started printing the photos and started recognizing that this woman was a phenomenal photographer make a long story short the woman is now in uh, the Smithsonian as one of like the great photographers of her time and She, 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 she'll never know how much her art is affecting other people or how much it changed this kid's life. There's a beauty to that on some level, right? There's a beauty to the fact that yeah, I guess she squandered away the art to herself. Uh -huh. And 
there's a beauty to that, right? There's a beauty to an artist who doesn't want to show his art. I think that's actually kind of intense. But I think there's also another side of the story where so many people missed out on seeing her art or knowing that she was an artist. I'm just happy that she's gotten noticed now. My point to this whole thing is that there's something that you do, that you all do intrinsically. It's something that you already like. It's something that you already talk about that you need to share with people while you're here. Because you never know what you're going to say or what you're going to do or what you're going to share that changes somebody else's life. Or you might just be somebody that needs a, you get to be that phone call for somebody. And, um, and you can stay on the phone for three hours and talk to them and tell them that it's all, it's going to be okay. And the only thing that's really important here is being love, compassion, sharing, giving, and growing. So with that, my friends, please go out of the world, do something nice for somebody else. And if you can't, do something nice for yourself. Number two, please don't get caught up in all the crazy stuff that's going on in this world. There's so much crazy stuff. If you do that, then that's all you'll think about. And number three, if you would not mind, please like, share, subscribe. Send this to somebody who needs to see it. Also, you know, the, the like button and the notification bell and all that good stuff. And check out my Patreon. And if you don't want to do that, but you still want to support, go check out my new website called TheMysticalSpace.com where you can find products that helped you find yourself. And with that, my friends, thank you. Thank you, Mateo. I love you all so much. Uh, I'll see you all on the other side.